So today we're going to install a MagnaFlow catback exhaust on our 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. So in the last video I told you guys we had some modifications coming for the Trackhawk. The first box showed up today. First the three which is the Magnaflow catback for the Grand Cherokee SRT and Trackhawk. So I've kind of laid it out here a little bit. Should be a pretty easy install and we're going to take a look at some before and after sound clips but let's get to it. Okay guys, so this should be a really easy installation here. We just have to remove the two 13 mil nuts on each side where the suitcase muffler bolts up to the cat pipes and everything else is just gonna pull off of these rubber hangers here. And then we just have to take the uh, exhaust tips off and swap them onto the new MagnaFlow exhaust. So let's cut to the time lapse and get this thing out of here. Okay, so we've got the stock exhaust off. It took me right about 30 minutes and I actually found something at the end that made it super easy. I probably could have done it in about 15. So I'll show you guys here. When you take these rubber grommets off, there's two at each side of the rear muffler. And all I did was just hit them with some penetrating oil and use the pry bar to pop them. Up here where this suitcase muffler is, it's really tight. There's not a lot of side to side movement. So I was trying to get them off until I realized that these brackets are just bolted up right beside them with a couple 13 mil bolts on each side. So what I did is just unbolted them. I'll easily be able to get the hangers off now and bolt them back up to the Jeep to do the aftermarket MagnaFlow exhaust here. So Forza Tuning and Performance, I've been watching their videos quite a bit. And uh, Brent in there seems like a really smart guy. What he was saying is on the Hellcats, they just leave the stock exhaust on, but on the Trackhawks, they always change the exhaust because it's quite restrictive. And the reason is that the Trackhawks use this suitcase style muffler here, but there's also, as you notice, which is really weird, a uh, indent that they put in the passenger side exhaust pipe. So. That's a little weird, that hurts flow a little bit. And it, the exhaust is actually why the Trackhawks rated at 645 foot-pounds of torque compared to 650 on the uh, Hellcat Charger and Challenger. So this is the stock exhaust here. And then this is what our new MagnaFlow is kind of gonna be set up like. As you can see, that suitcase is gone, replaced with an X-pipe and a couple uh, resonators or just small bullet mufflers up front. And then around back, we've got some nice uh, polished mufflers there. And then all we have to do is take the exhaust tips off of the stock exhaust and bolt them up to the MagnaFlow. So I'm just going to uh, pull those rubber exhaust hangers off the stock exhaust, bolt them back up to the Trackhawk, and then we're gonna get started installing the uh, MagnaFlow here. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the new uh, MagnaFlow mid pipes bolted up here to the cat pipes. What you're gonna wanna do is just leave them loose so that you can still adjust everything as you put the rest of the exhaust together. And these are the two bolts I was talking about for the uh, exhaust hanger where the suitcase muffler is. So I bolted this back up, but I actually left this loose for now too, just to keep it a little easier to move stuff around. So next we're gonna get this X pipe and lift it up, put it on these pipes and start getting everything all aligned. So let's get to it. 
Okay, so we've got the whole system installed. Everything's lined up. Everything is tightened up, all the clamps and everything. A couple things I noticed to make it easier for you guys. The instructions say to install the mid pipes and then the X pipe. What I noticed is it was easier to install the uh, front pipes coming off the cats, the front resonators, and then the rear mufflers, and then put the X pipe in beneath that. Another thing too, as you can see, there's two exhaust hangers for the rear mufflers here. This one, there's no way that the hanger was gonna go over the muffler with, with the rubber mount still on the car. So what I did was took the mount off, slid it onto the muffler, put the muffler up, slid this mount on, and then slid it into this hanger. But that stuff's all done. Then the other thing you need to do is cut off, or not cut off, sorry, but you have to take the band for the stop, for the stock uh, exhaust tips off. And then you're gonna have to grind. There's a little weld there to pull it off. So now we're gonna clean the exhaust tips up, throw them on the uh, new Magnaflow exhaust, and then we'll uh, fire it up and see how it sounds. Okay guys, so there you have it. My initial impressions are it sounds a bit quieter in stock. Um, my previous uh, experiences with Magnaflow exhausts and mufflers, I know they usually get a little louder when you put some miles on them. So we'll probably do another exhaust sound video before and after comparison after about a week or so of driving with this thing. I actually really like it though. Um, it's not raspy at all, which is good. I hate raspy exhausts the stock one i think sounds great but it's about as raspy as i'll get anything more than that and i just i can't stand it um the overall install was fairly easy you should be able to do this by yourself in your driveway in about two and a half three hours so not bad at all but uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video take care and we'll see you in the next one